Hi, Eric. I'm Azal from The Upcoming. It's really lovely to speak to you. Thank so, you. perhaps we could start by saying, how do you feel to be here at the 12th Evolution New Yorker International Film Festival? And how does it feel to have received a Cinematography Icon Award last night? It's, uh, <laughs> well, it's great to be here. It's lovely to be here. It's, I've never been to Mallorca before. And um, it's, it's humbling to get an award. So, um, uh, it's, it's, it, I, I never feel like I, I, um, I deserve any recognition at all, so it's um, it's it certainly feels good to um, to have have your work recognized and and be on the stage. Uh, but um, it's just nice to share the experience with everyone. And I think you know this festival celebrates not just filmmakers and directors, but puts a spotlight on the cinematography, which is which is really really nice and champions the diversity in, in filmmaking, bringing very kind of movies to the Valerics. How do you feel about that now that there's somewhere that recognizes cinematography on in its own right? It's I, it's fabulous. I think it's uh, you, cinematographers. We have a we have a habit of, of hiding in the shadows a bit and and um, and standing in the back or the second row anyway. And um, it's it's certainly nice to, to share the work with people and and to to have people consider what it is that, that we do as cinematographers. You know, it feels good. Um, and uh, yeah, it's just it's just nice to it's 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 nice that the work is appreciated. And obviously, as a cinematographer, how do you go about choosing your projects when you get scripts come to you? How do you sort of filter through and go, yeah, that is what I want to work on? <laughs> um, for me, it's all about the director. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's, in some cases, it's, it's not even the script. I mean, for me, the script is a recipe. It's a, it's a serving suggestion. It's, um, and, and the film you know, comes from the performances and the, and the director and, the, and, the, and the, the, the vision the director has for the film. And uh, you know, I'm I'm most happy when when the director pushes me in a direction that I'm not comfortable going. So it's I, I look for that. And what makes do you think your approach to cinematography so unique? Um, it's very kind of you to say that. I, <laughs> I, um, I, I don't f I don't enjoy lighting. I don't look for opportunities to do it. I I. Um, I'm almost reluctant in a way. Um, I I find that uh, for me the the thing that interests me most about cinematography is is how and where we where we put the camera and how we use it to tell the story, and you know the resulting imagery that we we create uh, for me has to come from that place. Um, I I suppose that might be a slightly different way of thinking about it. Um, but I don't. I don't think of myself as a photographer f first. I think of myself as a photographer like third, um, and uh, and uh, I, you know, and I, I apply photographic technique to the work, obviously. But for me, it's all about communication with the director about how we're telling the story and and how we're cutting the cutting the scene apart into pieces that can then later be assembled. And what must be some of the more challenging aspects of that? Because I mean, when you work in monochrome and then you've got things like fisheye lens and things, you know, what are some of the challenges that have been coming through in your career to date? Um, well, you know, everything I've done has been has been different, I think. And, you know, and I certainly look for that. I, I, I try to change up the work. And, you know, I, I, we, we fall into patterns. I think everyone does. I, I certainly do. Um, you, you know, people might say that my work looks a certain way, regardless of what the project is. I hope not, but um, yeah, I think the you know the 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 challenges really are are for me is is going home at night and feeling like I gave it everything I have. You know, it's a, the 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 least satisfied I am is when I go home and I think, God, I I wish I had done this. I wish I had done that. So it's. You know, I look for the opportunities where I can go home exhausted. <laughs> I mean, obviously, Mallorca as a setting would be an absolute dream and is for a lot of filmmakers. Um, I know you haven't actually filmed here previously and obviously it may come up to location. What do you look for when you're kind of look at, scoping out locations and, and when you're away, you've sort of got your eye on, on these new locations for you to go to? Well, you know, the, the, the location has to, for me, it has to fit the story. It has to serve the story. Um, we make lots of logistical decisions in filmmaking to shoot in different places that will serve the story that maybe, you know, we, we, we fake certain locations to be other places. We make, you know, we cheat a lot in, in filmmaking. Um, you know, 
Mallorca is unique because it has an incredibly diverse uh, range of locations, mountains, um, desert, beaches, city, you know, old architecture, new architecture. Um, it could, you know, for me, this place could serve as a, as a, as a really good place to make any sort of film. Um, you know, there's lots of opportunity, but, you know, I think I, I look at the light, obviously. I look at the time of year, the season, colors. Um, but it, it, it all has to come from the place of the, of, of the script for me and the story and, and what the film is. And obviously you've got The Killer by David Fincher having a screening here. How does that feel to have that brought to this, you know, particular festival? I'm thrilled. I'm thrilled to share the movie. We're, we're proud of the film. Um, and it's, it's really nice to be back in the cinema and, and, and share, share a film with, with an audience. It's a nice experience that I miss very much. <laughs> especially after the pandemic. Yeah. <laughs> uh, given that Europe is a home of art house cinema, how would you assess the current state of independent cinema? What excites you about cinema in 2023? And where do you kind of see the opportunities for growth? Um, well, I think if there's, if there's any evidence that, um, that the audience wants independent creative stories, it's this year. You know, if you look at the films that, uh, that have dominated the box office in the United States, uh, they are not your typical tentpole action films. Um, for me, that's good news. Um, I I uh, I think that the you know the the independent cine cinema is always challenged, and it's always challenged because it's a the the economic model of of creating art is not necessarily in line with the economic model of of profitability. You know, I think that push and pull will always exist. Uh, I, but you know, I, fundamentally, I feel like the audience wants to see, um, they want to see art. You know, art art needs to live in the society, and 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 art cinema or art house cinema or whatever you want to call it, independent cinema, is I think essential for the survival of cinema itself. And, you know, we've got Daniel Brawls, Suzanne Beer and Isabel Quasi, you know, among the awardees this year. What do you admire most about their work and what do you think makes them stand out? I think it's passion and I think it's concern for the work. Um, you know, they 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 are are always looking for something that is um, different in their work. You know, both of them, um, they, they are uh, they're challenging themselves. And I think, you know, the scariest thing as an artist, as a creative person, is to be stagnant. And what films are you most eager to see on the lineup this year? Well, I saw one of them last night. And <laughs> <laughs> no more. Yeah, yeah, it's spectacular. Yeah, yeah, really, yeah, really yeah, amazing. yeah, yeah. So as a cinematographer, what, what guidance would you offer to newcomers in the film industry who want to go into cinema, cinematography? Um, I don't believe cinematography is something that can be learned in the classroom. It takes time, and uh, you know, it, I, I I also believe it's something that has to be learned in the act of doing it from someone else. I, I, I believe it's a it's a it's a process of of developing technique, about developing your own sensibility, about reflecting off other people's sensibility, and 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 for me, it's 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 really a thing where you need to do the time. You know, you need to do the time, and and be patient, and uh, and not rush. <laughs> and obviously, huge success with Manx, you've got Ferrari, and obviously the killer coming to it. What would you say you're most proud of when you look back at these? Um, I, think, I think the thing I'm most proud of is that I have, uh, I have a very dedicated and loyal crew that I, that I consistently work with a lot, who I, I love like my family. And the fact that I've been able to take them along with me uh, on occasion and, and bring them with me. And, and we've, you know, matriculated through many different projects together is, is for me the kind of joy of it all, mm -hmm. uh, actually, yeah. Well, thank you very much for speaking to me. Enjoy the rest of your time that you're getting to yeah, You're very welcome, thank you. I'm sure everyone will love the killers as well. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> they will, they will. <laughs> thank you. Thank you very